welcome back to my channel my name is Jacqueline Lopez today I'm going to be doing a home decor haul let me go ahead and start with the 99 cent only store and it is this huge big beautiful piece this was $4.99 I love that it is a natural stain on this mason jar that the basket is black and I plan on using this on the outside of my home I want to use it as my door wreath and fill it up with um, some greenery in here preferably the plastic kind because I live in an area where we get a lot of dust storms so I can just rinse that off really quickly um, this is kind of a little project that I have planned instead of using your conventional wreath I can't wait to show you that over on my Instagram I also bought this huge sign that says bless this house as you can see it was only uh, $1.99 it is uh, particle board MDF um, but it does look 3d even though it's not it's just a little decal um, I love it it is sturdy it has the uh, places for you to hang it up on your wall again this was $1.99 for $1.99 you really can't beat this I am planning on using this above my door inside the house um, I just love this piece and they had they had different ones they had ones that said um, home sweet home and live lo laugh love things like that uh, they were pretty neat and they all do look pretty realistic um, in regards to it just being kind of painted or a, a decal because again this is just particle board and now I am cleaning up and organizing my makeup collection in my room I'm actually thinking of moving it um, so I bought some organizers I bought two of these these are from the super 99 and they are just kind of plastic acrylic like um, they are for the bathroom so I may put one in the medicine cabinet in my bathroom uh, but I could also use it for makeup storage and again I bought two of these these were just a dollar again also for my makeup storage I bought this little crystal dish that I plan to keep um, either little earrings or things like that um, next to my nightstand or again in my makeup uh, where I'll be getting ready and it's just this cute little glass dish and this was only 99 cents I love it I love the little legs I love this I love that it doesn't have any thing on it some of them had like grapes or flowers and this just has lines so that's what I love how simple this is and I also bought some pillar candles from the 99 cent only store uh, these are a different shape a little bit chunkier than what they have at the Dollar Tree so that's why I got these and I got two in this white and two in kind of this off-white creamy color and this is most definitely one of my most favorite pieces that I got at the 99 cent only store. This one was $2.99. It is from their spring collection, but they still had a ton every single time I've gone. They have more and more. I love this light blue color. I love the shape of it. It is a candle holder. Oh, actually in the bottom it's a ceramic cake plate. Um, so I actually have uh, two DIYs in mind with these stay tuned for those I already started um, one of them so I can't wait to show you how I'm gonna use this now for Marshall's I did go yesterday and I fell in love with everything but I had a budget in mind I was very specifically looking for one thing and one thing only and I obviously came out with more than one thing uh, but the thing that I was looking for is actually this pillow I was looking for um, a lumber pillow to go in this specific area of my couch um, my couch did come with one but I wanted a different color so I got this beautiful uh, blue striped one and this one was $14.99 and I think this is the back because of where um, the tag is on it and this would be the front and I do love that it has um, kind of two different um, ways that the stripes go in but this is the side that I'm currently using I just feel like this is what looks better right now and we'll just keep that back here because I love it right there so that's the one thing I was looking for at Marshall's I also came out with 
this little rug and it's a two by three it is um more it's harder kind of like straw but not really it is fabric and this was $7.99 I bought this to do kind of the layered look for the doormat in front of my house so this will go under the wreath that I'm going to do with the 99 cent only mason jar wall hanging um, I love this because it feels like I could just rinse it off if it gets dirty um, it'll just mainly be sand over by the door and I'm going to show you right now the the doormat that I'm going to use over this this is two by three and again it was $7.99 from Marshalls now this piece I've been looking for a long time it's not necessarily home decor but I've been looking for something like this for a long time and it is frozen pop makers but these look like the ice pops that you would buy in Mexico and I do live by the border I am Mexican so I love the flavors that they come in because they don't taste so much like kool-aid or just water with fruit flavorings this these the ones that they sell in Mexico actually taste like the fruit so I had been looking for a mold like this ever since I saw um, Marcela Valladolid she is a chef from the Food Network and I love her I love everything she does and I saw her make some ice pops in these molds and I realized that you could buy them to use them at home so ever since then and that was a couple years ago probably I've been looking for something like this and I can't wait to use it and most likely give you some recipes for some yummy flavored ice pops like mango, um, jamaica, coconut, all of those yummy fruit flavors rather than just your regular like blue raspberry lemon lime that the frozen ice pops come that you can get very cheaply. These are going to be delicious, creamy, yummy. I cannot wait to show you um, some recipes with these ice pops. So stay tuned for that. Oh, my bad. And this was $14.99. And it does come with some of the um, little wooden sticks that kind of look like craft sticks, but they're the food safe ones. So again, I can't wait to show you. Really briefly from Walmart, I bought a mortar, mortar and pestle. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, um, but I love the color of this. I probably just going to use this for home decor. Honestly, I'm still looking for a, a volcanic stone one. Every time I see them, I feel like they're too expensive because I can go get one in Mexico for cheaper, but I just never go get one. So that's why right now I'm settling with this little wood one, um, but I love it. All I need to do is season it um, so that you don't get the kind of like the wood flavor and so that other flavors don't stay on it. Um, but I can't wait to uh, display this in my kitchen. And this I believe was under $10. I bought this some time ago and I just haven't been filming because my life has been super crazy busy. I've been crazy busy at work, uh, crazy busy at home. I don't know why, but for some reason, the month of May is always super ridiculously busy for everybody. And I was not an exception. I've been crazy busy. So I haven't even been able to open those, even though I've had it probably for about an entire month. So that's why I don't remember the price um, off the top of my head. I'll leave it in the description box down below. Um, because I do have to go to Walmart today anyway, so I'll just go see how much it is. I did go to Big Lots as well, and I love this piece that I found there. So this is the piece that I found at Big Lots. They do have two different sizes. The other one is just a tiny bit shorter. This one was $14. The other one was $12. Um, they do still have this because I've gone back for different things, and just to make sure they still had them to see if they mark them down. I did buy two. I do like to buy... Um, things in multiples because that's how I like to display things in symmetry symmetry um, So I want to go and find the uh, Smaller one, but I don't want to pay $14 again for another one So I'm gonna wait to see if they go on sale um, And I'll just buy uh, two other small ones so that I can kind of display them together because I love the color this medium wood tone i love the glass the glass does have some little imperfections in it but it's okay um 
I'll usually have a candle in here anyway, so it'll look okay. I also bought these bud vases. Um, well, it's just one decorative vase, but it has three of these test tube bud vases. This was $8. I do need to go back for a second one because I'm thinking these will look really good on either side of my TV stand. And I plan to put just some small greenery or some, um, like one flower on each. Um, really sturdy, really nice, $8. Now for summer, I am doing kind of a blue, um, yellow, and wood um, decor. It's not coastal, but it does kind of uh, pulls inspiration from coastal colors. Um, so I bought from a local store some clearance items that I don't think you'll be able to buy anymore, but I have found similars. Uh, first is these pillows back here, and it's just your standard uh, big throw pillow. I think it's like... 14 or 18 by the same size um, and they're just blue they kind of look like denim um, and that's what I loved about them that's why I say like it pulls from coastal because it's the blues but it's not because this um, fabric does not feel like denim but it looks like denim because it has kind of like the threading of different colors like denim wood I bought these pillows on clearance for ten dollars so they were pretty inexpensive for me I'm gonna try and find something similar and link it down below the other thing that I bought on clearance was uh, this throw that I have back here. I always have a throw with my Mr. and Mrs. pillow. And they do have some similar ones at Target um, that have the blue and the cream color strips. I actually feel the exact same. Um, but these are discontinued, so I got this for fairly inexpensive. I believe it was like, again, 8 or $10 that I got this throw. And the one at Target, I believe, is about... 12 to 19 dollars so it's not that bad but i love it if it's perfectly with the decor that i have going on for summer let me just get this organized again going with that yellow and blue theme theme i did need to get some little yellow accents so from the hearth and hand collection i did get two of these little yellow bud vases these are 4.99 um, again i got two of these I also bought this yellow um, fluted bud vase. Um, this was $3.99, and again, it's just so that I can pull yellow accents into uh, the decor that I'm doing for the summer. For Michaels, I did purchase some clearance items. I bought a plant mister. I got this for $1.50. Originally, it used to be $5. They still had several when I went. They just didn't have any blue ones. I would have preferred a blue one. Uh, but this will be good because I recently got a mint plant and it is beautiful. It makes the kitchen smell great, uh, but and it's growing pretty big. But I did read um, that in order to take care of it, you have to have water in it, but you don't want to overwater it. So sometimes it's good to just miss the top leaves uh, so that they grow as well. I also bought this L. Um, it's fabric covered. It's kind of plushy. Originally, this was $9.99. I believe I bought this for about $2. Um, and it does have a place to hang it, but I have it displayed on my uh, galvanized round shelves, and it's just a shelf sitter. For those same shelves, I bought this vase. I love it. it this is all ceramic, but they did this so that it looked like wood. I love the um, dark blue color that it has. This originally was $19.99. I believe I paid about six or five dollars for it. And this is again displayed on those round shelves. I'll show you a picture of how I have those pieces over on my Instagram. I should be posting a picture either today or tomorrow, most likely the day that I post this video. So you will already be able to go take a look at that picture where I have these items displayed. From Dollar Tree, I got again some little trinkets for uh, where I am redoing my vanity and it is this feather again it's just to put it's just a little tray I also got a ring holder again it's just the feather white ceramic uh, again for my vanity and then I got this little wood sign it just says imagine and it's actually not wood it looks like wood but it's canvas and this was just a dollar i want this for my son's room he on his own kind of started doing his own little gallery wall so this will be a good piece to have there uh, for him 
and it's just again the very lightweight uh, particle board with this stretched out canvas for a dollar you really can't beat this and they did have different ones with different words I believe there was one that said love and believe and follow your arrow it's just little quotes like that little words like that and I bought more wall decals first of all it's this one chocolate doesn't ask silly questions chocolate understands and it is the Ray Dunn font like very similar to the Ray Dunn Ray Dunn font struggling with my words today they're just not wanting to come out uh, but I love this a dollar I have a lot of DIYs that I do with them and I'm sorry that I haven't shown you more um, but these are super easy and super simple to use pretty much everywhere and then I got this other one which is just adorable it is like a I don't even know what to call it a bull deer's head I don't know I'm not good at this um, but it does have these beautiful flowers with the leaves it is just adorable so I have um, a DIY in mind with this one already so I can't wait to show you that one um, I think this one I may just do on my Instagram stories so again go follow me on my Instagram because I post um, a lot of stuff on there um, now that I have the highlights in my stories I can go ahead and highlight this a DIY for you because the color on this is beautiful if they would have had another one I would have bought just for backup um, but they only had one when I went so go and find this because this is beautiful even if you don't like this part the flowers are just gorgeous I love them oh there goes my cat kitty kitty okay anyways um, I also got these wall hooks um, I also got these wall hooks and they are the removable kind they always have these but these are now removable so I can't wait to try these this one says it holds up to two pounds this one says uh, 0.2 pounds but these are tiny so these are for like keys and little things so I'm going to be using this to hang up the the wall art that I got from the 99 cent only store on my door they didn't have any clear ones I wish they would have I'm gonna try and see if they keep having different colors um, but I do have the paint that our house is all painted in so I may just paint that because our door is painted the exact same color just so that you can't see it that much and then my favorite thing to hang things up with um, are push pins so I wanted to show this on this haul because this is part of home decor for me I go through this like there's no tomorrow almost everything that I have hung up on my house is hung up by push pins either one two multiple even the shelves the round galvanized shelves they're hung up with this and it just holds it works they're clear they don't make um, huge holes so this is perfect I'm going to show you on my Instagram stories how I have those hung up so that you can see how good these are um, I'm gonna try these out but I don't think anything will ever replace just your standard office push pin now let me show you the doormat that I'm going to use under uh, this little 2 by 3 rug in front of my door it is this adorable doormat and this is fabric but it's the one that it's really tight so you can um, like wipe your um, shoes with these and I love it this is from the Dollar Tree so this was only one dollar it is not huge it's not your average size let me see if it has the size right here uh, 12 by 24 so it's a foot and two feet so I love it it's perfect this is home I have one that is more blue than this one this one has the yellow gray and kind of blue on it so this is the one that I'm gonna have um, out once I go ahead and set everything up uh, they had different ones they had different colors I bought one for my little sister that said wipe your paws so they're really cute and for a dollar you really can't beat that so the whole layered look um, for the front door I've been trying to do that for some time but I could not spend the money like I have a rubber doormat out 
and that cost me like 10 12 dollars and it was hurting me because we step on it it gets dirty the only reason why i bought it is because it can be rinsed off so we will use it for a long time but i am cheap when it comes to decor i don't like to spend a lot of money so doing the layered look was expensive because it's twenty dollars for the longer rug and then you still have to buy the one that goes on top and that'll be another twenty dollars so i did not want to spend 20 30 40 dollars on just the doormat so that's why i got this one at marshall's for 7.99 and then this one for a dollar it's perfect because it just cost me less than ten dollars and i'll have that perfect instagram layered look for my front door that i've been loving and i just didn't do it because it was too expensive and i don't like to spend i clearly already spend enough on home decor um, and it's because I'm always looking for deals like everything that I got today uh, Was fairly inexpensive. It's bought through over time I love going to the super 99 cent store because they have some really good items that you can use for DIYs or you can dress them up to look even better or to look more expensive So that's why Marshall's the Dollar Tree um those are my friends when it comes to home decor and clearance items at local furniture stores. Don't forget to look at local furniture stores because sometimes their clearance is really good and you get really good quality items. Um, so I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for um, some DIYs that I have coming up and follow me on my Instagram so that you can see um, how I use all of these items. Uh, thank you again for watching. Have a very good rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below of what item you like and if you would be willing to spend around $40 for the layered look in front of your door because I know I wouldn't, but some people do and it's fine to each their own. Thank you again. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.